I'll be showing how to use the focus feature and the full screen feature in Microsoft Teams meetings. Both of these features can help to focus on the content being presented and also block out any distractions during a Teams call. So to get started, I'm going to join a meeting in Teams. I'll click join. Okay, let's join the meeting. Now I'm in a Teams meeting and it looks like the presenter is going to be sharing some content in PowerPoint slides. And I just want to focus on the content to go into focus mode. This will allow me to focus on the presentation and remove all the people and faces along the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to click the dot 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 menu and you'll see this new focus mode option. This is only enabled when someone's sharing content like right now. So I'm going to click this and what you're going to see is along the bottom, all the faces disappeared. So now I can focus on the content. Next up, I want to get a little more screen real estate and get rid of this top app bar and also the windows taskbar on the bottom. So I'm going to go back to the dot 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 menu and you're going to see this full screen option. And if I click this, Notice how everything is maximized and you get extra screen space along the top and the bottom. So I have full focus mode at this point, which is really nice to focus on that content. Now to exit focus mode or full screen mode, I'm gonna go back to the dot, dot, dot menu. First I'll uncheck full screen mode. So now you can see the task bar and the app bar on top. Now I'll go to the dot, dot, dot menu and I'll uncheck focus mode. And now you can see all the people along the bottom are coming back. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.